Welcome back guys, watching Rivals of and this is the Football Manager 2019 Let's Play series, Barcelona. Um, so a bit of a local one from today, they're playing Espanyol, a home game, so I'm hoping I'll get something uh, decent out of this one. We keep getting injuries, um, Rakitic is injured now, I think it's for something like three to five weeks, I think, if we're going to have a look at him quickly. Yeah, it's about three weeks, he's saying, isn't it? about three weeks is out for, so, hmm, Arthur's probably going to have to take his place. Coutinho still injured, Malcolm's injured. I think Roberto's just come back from injury. I think he, he missed the Portugal game. Let's have a quick look and see what's actually gone off then since it's been away. We've only played one game, it's been Champions League. Fortunately, we were successful. A 2 1 victory. We we did go 2 0 up in this game. Um, Porto did sort of like, I won't say a late, sort of like mid late get uh, About 70 minutes, I think, this good. Um, the first goal, which looked like they're probably going to come into it a little bit. I did uh, try to tell the team to concentrate. But you get his first goal, I think he takes a wicked deflection, Herrera's shot, finds his way to Suarez, hits the post, and it goes in our second attempt. There you go. Penalty for the second one. Vidal steps up, new signing this year, into slots it away. And this is where they get, oh, 65th minute. Oh, close, 70, I said, 70 odd. Fairly close. 2 1 victory. So, in terms of the group standings, so have a quick look at Champions League. So, it's uh, standing at the minute. So, we are second because we did draw with um, Spot at Moscow. Schalke seem to have won both games Porto and Schalke. Uh, Porto and Shakhtar. Uh, Shakhtar, what am I about? Porto and Spartak. I'll get there. I'll get there eventually, guys. So, yeah, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so they won um, Porto 2 1. So, similar result to us. Although we were away from home, so I'd just like to add that. Although they, they won them 2 1 away from home, so. There you go, we drew 1-1 one, one at home. Although, you know, we are getting our familiarity in the team. It's um, Tactics-wise, if you if you see it, it's gradually building sort of like game upon game, so that's good. Creative freedom is awkward, apparently, so I'm not really sure if I need to look at something there. Um, I'll, I'll have a quick look at that, sort of like off-screen. But for time being, let's have a look. I need to sort my team out, first and foremost, so just bear with me. Fairly quick, to be honest. only one change to really make, and that's Arthur stepping in for Rakitic. A lot of players are a bit knackered, which is a little bit of a concern. Um, hmm, I mean, do I make many changes? You know, I might do. I'll just make a few. I'll just change a few while we're here, actually. Um, Miranda could come on there. I think we're making a lot of changes here, though, aren't we? This, this is a little bit of a concern. I could take them belly off, because he keeps pissing me off. It's just looking so content on side. do not give a shite, basically. Apart from that, I think we're all right. Rafinha doesn't really fit in, does he? Play through centre, we don't play anyone through there. I, mean, I might have to start looking at that and maybe push in um, the deep line playmaker up through centre. We'll, we'll see when we get to it. I think what we'll do at the end of this episode as well, we'll have a quick look at the squad. Um, so in terms of stats, just see how they're playing. See who's really uh, excelling and who's really disappointing for us. So without further ado, let's crack into it. Actually, we will not just go crack, in, crack into it straight away. Oh, God, it's, it's not still for much, is it? I'll just put my defence. I'm, I'm literally just fitting him in for the sake of fitting him. I think there's definitely some developments you need to make to play a particular way with Barcelona. And they don't have the money to invest. If they, if they like the other teams on the game, you know, like Real Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern Munich, Man United, Man City, we don't have money to invest. We wouldn't be able to invest in the areas we wanted to. And it'd, be, it'd look a lot less awkward, to be honest, than it does right now. So we've got the kick-off then. Biden on our time, then it's centre. I mean, it really look where Espanyol are in the league. That's the other thing. They're not in top half, though, with lots of things, are they? The 19th, which means we're going to lose, basically, I think. <clears throat> I mean, oh, God. Extra space. I told you. I had to tell you what to lose. I was about to say what concerns me is that we, we've made a lot of changes. So the chemistry of the team is going to drop into it. I mean, Rand just give it away there. Sergio steps up. He has asked for a transfer request. I did, have, I did sit down with him and have a little um, discussion with him. I did say he doesn't fit into my plans. And he just doesn't, to be honest. We've got an opportunity here. There we go, Miranda! He's made up for the bad pass. Well, what at him? Maybe a bus gets really with a bad pass. Um, what we're saying then about um, bus gets... Yeah, he, he came to me. He, he said he, he wants some game time. He's not playing, and rightfully so. I mean, a, a guy of his experience. I mean, he's probably one of the best in game in terms of his position. Maybe. Although, to be honest, I think his physicals are really low for what he is. I know it's only, he's only 30. You know, I expected them to be holding to at least 31, 32. I expected to have another season in him. Of high physicals. Oh, there we go. Right back into game. It's 2-1. It's been here. So we stepped in for Dumbele. I'm glad I went with him as well. Because Dumbele's... 
granted, it's my own fault, kind of, because at the start of the season, I said I didn't need him when we actually turned out we did. Coutinho's really not getting a game at all whatsoever because he's constantly injured. Messi grabs little nicks here and there and doesn't excel. Look at him at 6.9. I mean, is there anything else I can do in terms of Messi? I'll look at half time. Maybe we can make him a Trequartista or something. I don't know. I mean, maybe we have to look at changing the formation. That's the other thing. Do we go with two central midfielders? Quite possibly we don't need three. We go and attack a midfielder instead. I thought we were going to give that one away right away then. Oh, Messi up at top here. Can he pull something back here? Back post if he can. Oh, he's coming alone. Oh, I just found it. A bit fortunate. He's hit the post first time now. I've had two of them in two games now, haven't we? Suarez, Suarez did it in first game, didn't he? But last game against Porto. Put it onto the post and got the tap in on the second one. On rebound. And Messi's kind of just done it himself. He's done well to get by the players, though, hasn't he? Oh, it's actually a save by keeper. It's not the greatest uh, finish by Messi. It's the first time round. Straight into keeper's hands. I thought it was David Villa then. Right, so half time 2 1. I mean, it, it's it's good, in it? Can't really complain too much about it. It'll fired up a little bit. <clears throat> I didn't really notice my, um, match ratings. It was really having a good game. Miranda, Messi, Mania. I'm very tempted to go with Messi up centre. It's natural position there. It was out right hand side. Although you really think naturally it'd be central as well as right hand side. Look at that. It's done well there, and he's, he's got the ball back. He's got Wagyu. Cross it back post. Mania. Oh, that's a great save. And it's, in, it's a nice little finish by Messi. Mania's very, very unlucky there, to be honest. A fantastic save by Diego Lopez. Oh, we took, we've stretched the lead to 4 1 now, so it looks like we're going to run away with it. I mean, up to this point, we say we've been struggling scoring goals in the game. We've just got four so far in this one. Potentially more to come. It's only 50th minute, isn't it? Do we look at making some changes? Everyone seems to be hanging in there quite well. Vidal's like 71%. Maybe we'll put um, Herrera. We'll probably put him on his 89% in here. Vidal's slowly dropping. Might give him another five minutes, possibly. I want to avoid injuries, particularly in midfield. We haven't got anyone else to rotate, really, have we? Apart from Rafinha, who's not like a, it's not like a midfielder for the central place. It's more like an advanced role. So I don't think it'd really I don't think it'd really fit in well there, would it? It's probably better out on right hand side, but Messi's there, so it's not gonna take that spot, is it? Just playing around, look at this one twos. <laughs> They're not looking to penetrate our back line at all, are they? It's just literally just hold on to ball. Trying to stop us scoring now, I think. Langley does well, find Sergio, Roberto uh, Roberto Bus gets that one into it. Monier with bad pass there, it's back to him though. Miranda did well there. Ooh, I mess it on right side, man at back post, he finds him, Suarez! It's about time he chipped in, isn't it? It's fifth goal of the season then for Suarez. I didn't realise that, to be honest. Scored a few. It's going to be interesting seeing the stats at the end of, uh, at the, end of the game. Squad stats to see who's actually our top scorer. I've got, it must be. I think it's Messi. He's definitely scored a few, hasn't he? Bloody hell, he's got, that's the first red I think I've seen. Villet? Is it Villar? Villar? I don't know. I'm gonna make a, I'll make a few little substitutions, to be honest, if it lets me. We're going to put... Um, Roberto can come on because he's just come back from injury he'll have a little bit of a game I don't really want to make too many changes apart from that everyone else we'll, we'll stick with it to be honest I think they'll hold it out won't they 5-1 it's room for more goals though if they can get them let's have a look everyone's looking a little bit knackered I might I might bring Dembele on it's his chance to redeem himself we'll go winger though because he's, I think he is a bit more of a winger although it's more right hand side isn't it so I can say, up against Messi, mate, you got no chance. Roberto, he's found Messi, it's a good ball, that. He seems to be on the nose, man at back post, Dumbele. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Nearly makes an instant impact. Again, I mean, it's a good result. I just think we're struggling a little bit in terms of fluidity. The team sort of like matching up well together. I think we're sort of like fitting players into positions. It's a good tackle. It's full time, 5-1, guys. We dominated, 17 shots to 7. Don't really don't really to add much more to that, do we? There we go. Oh, they're, all, they're all delighted with that one. There we go. Scoring streak, wow. But we have conceded now, haven't we? Is that our first goal we conceded in the league? I think it may well be. Hang on. We're still second, though. Oh. Yeah, oh, I was going to say I thought they'd lost, but they're not. They've just not played yet. Real Madrid's still down there, though, so at least we're over them. Even though we lost to them, that's the only team we lost to. Albeit, Real Madrid away is probably, if you can lose one game a season, it was going to be that one, wasn't it? So, yeah, uh, we we'll conceded three, actually. Yeah, we conceded two to Real Madrid. What am I on about? We lost to Real Madrid, aren't they? It's me thinking we've still got a clean sheet. 
But no, yeah, there we go. So, I mean, it's not too bad. So, have a quick look at the player stats, see what's actually going off just a minute. Just do have a look at a quick over overview. I've not changed any of these, so some of these need to be changed. Um, oh, 16 offsides. That's not good, is it? Hang on, how do I change this? There we go. See, you're in it. So, goals, goals, goals. Right, I thought it might be alphabetical. Clearly not. So, Ben Yedder, they, I do like this guy, to be honest. It's an advanced forward, so I've tempted to play like a 4 4 2 if we've got him. Like attacking wingers. Sort of now, but like uh, sacrifice um, probably the, oh, I don't know, box boss midfield maybe and go with an advanced forward next to uh, Suarez. He's wanted as well, who wants him? Arsenal and Milan. I think he's a great player, to be honest. He's, I was going to say he's only 28. 28 is probably entering the peak into Diego Costa. Expect to consider how many goals have been putting away. Bet got most of them at first few though. Rodrigo from Valencia. It's not a bad player, is he actually? Jesulu. He used to be at Newcastle, didn't he? Oh, he still is. Still low from Newcastle. That's a bit of a surprise that he's up there. No paddock striker. Dribbles per game. Messi obviously up there. Assists. Messi's just behind it. Well, it must be on playing time or something, I imagine. It's not a bad player though. He's 30 year old though, so it's not going to get any better. I mean, how was Messi 31? That year 31. Apparently his dribbling is deteriorating. Sowell. 23, he's not bad. Marcelo, 30, I didn't realise how old he was, to be honest. I mean, that's that at the minute. Shall have a quick look at our squad then, just see how it's shaping up. So, let's look goals-wise. So, Messi is the top goal scorer. So, Suarez has got five for the season then, so it must be in... Is this all competition? I think this must be in league. He's in league, yeah. He's in league. Let's go on. Overall. Right, so... Suarez, top scorer, there we go. So, Messi's just behind him. So, Messi's doing a lot better in the league. Four assists, though, you know, it's obviously going to run away with that. If Vidal, PK stepping up. Vidal's got a penalty, though, hasn't he? So that sort of, like, elevates him up there a little bit. Um, I mean, Coutinho's not playing, but imagine if you're playing, they get a few, wouldn't he? Assist-wise, it's Messi. <laughs> Did he? Wow, I think he's got a bad pair of from corners. Mania, uh, probably from last game. Rebel, not bad. I mean, samido has got one. Apart from that, chances created is going to be Messi, in it? Definitely. Samido's up there as well, though. Roberto. Player at match, Messi and Semedo, wow. Semedo's up there, he's obviously playing really well, isn't he? I've not really looked at his stats. It's not bad, is it? Not bad, 24, so maybe a little bit of improvement still to come from him. Passing percentage, so Sergio Busquets, he's not really played much. He's got a bidding for him, I, I put him on. As I mentioned, he did speak to me because he, want, he wasn't happy he wasn't playing, but we agreed that's best, probably best for him to move on. So I also put in like a, a £38 million bid, I think it is, but they want £53,000 contribution from the selling team. Uh, for wages per week, and I agree to it to be honest. Because what's he on? Two hundred fifty. So it's it's a big reduction in it. So unless we go for a marquee signing, you know, it's not going to be taking that sort of wage. I'd be awesome to get someone like Dybala, wouldn't it? Messi, Dybala, Coutinho, Suarez. Ah, I'd like that. I'd definitely like that one. I don't think we've got money for him though, have we? Yellow cards. Who's dirtiest players? The because I don't give a crap. Roberto, kind of understandable, a bit a bit combative, isn't it? Samido, right back, I suppose, no red cards, that's fantastic. So our top top rate player is Messi, understandable, because he's got four goals and four assists. He's got the biggest contribution, really, and he's plus chances created. Lingley, he's only had two games, but he's doing well. It's not going to take him Titi's place, though, is it? It's really not. Where's some Titi? He's wanted. That's it, wow. If coming with Big Bid, I'd probably possibly sell him and play Langley there instead. Rafinha's wanted. He's a good player. In Tom Lan. Okay. Right, guys. So I think that's it. I think we're drifting away, aren't we? A bit of time here. So we're going to leave it there for today's episode. So if you did enjoy it, smash that like button. Show us some support. If you've got any comments, uh, questions, advice or recommendations, or just want to say hi, drop it in the comment section. I'll get back to you. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because there is regular content coming out. Football Manager, it's been a little bit on and off, to be honest, about last week due to work commitments and other things. But now back into the swing of things. So it's going to be uh, one day on, one day off. So the next one, so today, Wednesday, the next one will be be Friday. So yeah, so subscribe if, if you enjoy it. Plus this FIFA as well, if you like that one. And hopefully I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.